Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter five, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So you guys are gonna love this chapter because, actually I'm gonna show you number one real fast because you'll notice that here there's one zero. When we are dividing, it means that the number is getting smaller. So if the numbers start, then you assume that the number is going to, at the end, typically, so this would be 179 point, okay? The decimal would be at the end if we had a decimal, okay? So every time there's a zero, we're gonna move the decimal one place, okay? So because there's one decimal here, we would move it one place, 7.83. So instead of being after the eight, we would move it once to after the seven. Again, two zeros after the eight to one, two to after the zero. Okay. So in this case, when it's divided it by an exponent of zero, the same thing as dividing it by one. Okay. One and 10 with an exponent of zero is the same thing. Okay. So your answer there isn't going to change. Okay. But when you have an exponent of one, the one is the same thing as having a 10 there. Sorry guys, recalibrating here. Okay, so that means that you're gonna move the decimal one place. Well, moving it one place makes it 17.9. Here it's two places, okay? Your, your exponent tells you how many times to move the decimal, okay? So one, two places, now it's after the one, okay? Three places, well, now it's before the one, okay? And do the same thing right here. This one, you don't have to move it at all. Zero times you have to move it. So 87.5, okay? One time you have to move it. That makes it 8.75. And two times you have to move it makes it 0.875, okay? Super easy, guys. Don't make it harder than it needs to be, okay? So that's the exponent. These are the same thing. This is just 10 to the first. This is 10 to the second. This is 10 to the third, okay? So just because you don't have an exponent here, it's still the same number, okay? So not moving it at all when you're dividing it by one. Moving it one time when you're dividing it by 10, by 10 okay? So 12.4. Moving it two zeros, we're gonna move it two places, 1.24. Three zeros, move it three places, 0.124, okay? You guys do five through nine, you totally can. I believe in you. We are gonna zoom out just a little bit so that we can get down to the word problems here, okay? The Logo Cafe uses 510 cups of mixed vegetables to make a thousand quarts of beef barley soup. Each quart of soup contains the same amount of vegetables how many cups of vegetables are in each quart? Well, 510, so you would have 510 with a decimal after it, okay? But we're gonna divide that by 1,000 to find out how many is in one. So three zeros, we're gonna move the decimal three times. One, two, three, point five, oh, sorry. Let me, let me fix that here. Cups, okay? 0.510 cups or 0.51 cups is the same thing, totally fine, okay? The same cafe uses 18.5 cups of flour to make 100 servings. 100 has two zeros in it. We're gonna move that twice. How many cups of flour are in one serving? So again, we're just gonna move it those two times, okay? So now you have 18.5, but you have to move the decimal one, two times, 0.185 cups, okay? Pretty easy, guys. Don't make it harder than it's gotta be. Okay, we're gonna go to the back. You guys are gonna do the lesson check. You totally can. Okay, we're gonna go down to the style review. The number 956,783,529, how does the value of this five digit in the 10 million place compared to the digit in five in the hundreds place, okay? So I would say 
50 million equals 500 times 100,000. Okay, we took those two zeros, one, two, and we added on one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So there you go. Okay. Taylor has $97.23 in her checking account. She uses her debit card to, pick, to spend $29.74 and then deposits $118 into her account. What is her new balance? So she starts with $97.23. She subtracted because she spent, okay, $29.74. So we're going to subtract that, but then we're going to add on $118.08 because she deposited it, and then we'll have our answer. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first I'm adding subtracting decimals, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my decimal. Okay, then three cannot take away four. I need to borrow one, making it 13. 13 take away four is nine. One cannot take away seven. Borrow one, making that 11. 11 take away 7 is 4. 6 cannot take away 9. I'm going to borrow one, making it 16. 16 take away 9 is 7. 8 minus 2 is 6. So right here, I'm going to put 6, 7.49. Okay? Then I'm going to add those up. Again, dropping my decimal first. 8 plus 9 is 17. Carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 8 plus 7 is 15, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 6 is 8, and bring down my 1. So my answer is $185.57. Okay. At the bank, Brent exchanges a $50 in bills for $51 coins. The total mass of coins is 405 grams. Estimate the mass of one one dollar coin okay so we are going to have 405 and we're going to divide that by 50 because he has 50 one dollar coins to find out how many he has okay so 50 it's not going to go into four it's not going to go into 40 We'll go into 405. Now, I know that for each 100, it goes in twice, okay? Well, 4 times 2 is 8, okay? So that'll get me 400, okay? And when I subtract, I get 5. I put a decimal, 0, bring it down, make sure I bring my decimal up, and then 50 is going to go into 50 one time. So that's in grams. So it's going to be 8.1 grams. 8.1, oh, let me finish this out for you all, okay? Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, it says to estimate. So you can just put eight grams. Okay. Or about eight grams. Okay. A commercial jetliner has 245 passenger seats. The seats are arranged in 49 equal rows. How many seats are in each row? So 245 divided by 49. Okay, I don't happen to know my multiples of 49, but I do know my multiples of 50. So I'm just going to mentally round that to 50 and kind of go from there. Okay, so we're going to start with 49 is not going to go into 2, it's not going to go into 24. It will go into 245 at least four times, um, but let's try five. Okay, five times nine is 45. Or four. Five times four is 20 plus four, 24. Oops, I put 45 and I carried the five instead of the four. Okay, there we go. So five seats per row. Okay, you can just put five seats, totally fine. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out. For 5.1, come on back for 5.2 soon.